bitch. Roll those shoulders when you let go of the right hand. Nice job. 20 seconds. Okay. Stay short. Good? Yeah. Very nice. You can do that all day. Keep mixing up. It's different than the jabs to bind. I just touched the right leg. You're waiting behind the wrist. Okay. Seriously. We're facing the back. We're staying on the other side the entire time. Counter then, yeah. Come in with two jabs, Ryan. Let's go. Step in. Touch the Touch the limb. Touch the limb. Touch the limb. Listen, you drive into him. So you gotta just roll under to keep those hands up. Okay. You, you try to fix it by staying down, right? Good work. Good work. So you land the ring? Yeah, that's good. That's good. A little more, uh, little more elbow. Yeah, my thumb hit him. Uh, yeah. A little more elbow knuckle down. Yeah. A little more hips engaged. A little more shoulders forward. That's a killer shot. Ikdo marna hai. Ikdo. 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 Itni kal. Ikdo. Touch it, my nose. <laughs> you bad? No. Sure. I'm just letting you yeah. know what's happening in there. It's not bad. It's good, I won't get hit with it again. Don't get complacent. Yeah. Blocking. Right? If you're not gonna counter, I don't want you just blocking shots for, for no fucking reason. Yeah. If you're not countering, you take a walk. Yeah. Take a walk, keep in range. Don't let the guy touch you up if you're not gonna counter. Okay. Just then, even if it is on the guard. Yeah. There's no fucking need for that kind of thing. Okay? The jab is nice. Yeah. But you gotta keep on it. Don't get lazy. Yeah. I think it's really good when Ryan's here in town for TNT when he's doing his training camps because I think a lot of the members here when they're training and they can see Ryan in the background hitting the bag or today like he's here for sparring really ups the water level his intensity the way he warms up the way he trains it's a good example for everybody in the gym um, you know socially he's a guy who always says hello walks into the gym sees people all the time you know, super nice guy. But I think uh, ultimately his level of training is, is what sets the bar. Everybody sees how he works and this, this is the standard. Everybody works up to that level. You know, it's one of those things that, uh, especially when you're working with uh, novice people or people from, you know, just first timers, being able to see something uh, on that level, like a professional working is, um, I don't know, it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. We got so many different types of people. Uh, you know, Sarah and, and Carolyn and all these other uh, pros and amateur, high ranking amateurs that bring something different to the table. So, in this scenario, um, especially today during sparring, it's, uh, it's pretty fun. It's a treat. Yeah. They want to go in, yeah? Hey, Ryan, come on. No, no, you the hurt business. <laughs> you hurt me. Right hand there. The right hand will come. Yeah. He's just a tough motherfucker. You see him over here? That left hook. Came back from the dead. What? <laughs> He's stuck. Jesus. Ryan just finished uh, eight rounds of sparring. Probably the best he's looked this early in camp, but we need this now because all the fights are getting a lot more serious, bigger step ups, and more experienced guys. Been um, former national champ, just had his pro debut. Probably one of the best amateur style boxers in the country, who's developing into a really good body puncher. So for Ryan to really focus on discipline, establishing his own jab, and at times 
having a really good jabbing contest with one of the better amateurs the last few years in Canada is, is great for him. It's good for his confidence and to understand where he's at right now. Part of the fight game. Looking forward to it. Well, she's due September 28th, but we keep joking around, like you know, what if she what if she pops out on fight night? Like that'd be that'd be crazy. I, we, it's funny as we were talking about it. It's like Stevie would be in the corner, give me instruction, be like, okay, Ryan, you gotta knock him out this round because uh, baby's on the way. <laughs> so yeah, hopefully, uh, hopefully she holds off till after the fight, but you never know. Either way, it doesn't matter. I just can't wait. It's exciting. <laughs>